Good afternoon everybody, welcome to the Artful Coder. In uh, this video I want to discuss installing IIS on a Windows 11 laptop. Now the premise for this video is going to be onto some more videos which then shows you how to configure PHP and all that sort of stuff with IIS. So let's get started. Um, so what you can do is there's a couple of ways you can install IIS and it's by the way it's a free piece of software you don't have to pay for it so you either go to settings or you can get classic var which is control panel oh, so there's different ways and what you want to do is look for programs and features now again this is something free on windows and the thing you're looking for is turn windows features on or off again so we click that and what you want here is you've got here this CEC, so you can do hostable web core. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into here, and this is going to install all the tools. So we click OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to search required files, which this is just standard Windows stuff. So it's applying all the changes. And let's have a look. So we do that. That's doing it. This is a, uh, yep. Yeah, so we're just going to go through. So it might take a few minutes to do this. So we'll just go through. But why would you use IIS over Apache or XAMPP for PHP? Um, well, basically, you can do either. But I just think on a Windows environment, um, IIS handles a lot of stuff out of the box quite nicely. Whereas historically, you would have to mess about with virtual host files. And if you're familiar with the GUI, um, this is something. So then all you've got to do is it's now installed. So what you can see here is we've got Information Internet Services Manager. So let's just go in and have a look. So that's now on here. So if I go into here, so you can see here you've got IIS. This is, this is a a GUI for managing sites and the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to delete the default website now the reason I say this is it's just always habit that always delete it because you want to configure your own websites to work with this so yes you could use the default you could hook this up deploy a .NET application to it or you could do whatever you want with it so just remove that uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can add a site. So let's do right click add website. So let's give it a name and I'll show you how to connect to this as if it was on the internet, but it's actually hosting your local PC. So let's just do www.hevsite.co.uk. And the physical path, now you can put this to a a different driver on a computer just so happens at the time of recording of this video I don't have another drive set up so let's create that there make new folder and call this and what is always a good idea to do is call it the same as your domain name now or something so you know what it is let's just do okay and we're going to say the host name so this is how it will be found. So when you go to a website on the internet, it looks at the, the domain name and says, right, and using DNS service, a di directory name service, it tells it where to be located. So that's a whole different topic. So let's create it simple. Dot have site. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to create a very basic, you could put HTTPS on here and all sorts of stuff. So we now have a website and we can manage all of the settings for it. So the next thing to do is what you're going to want to do is bring up Notepad. Got it. Okay, so let's do that. Do, no, hang on. Sorry, I do apologize. What you need to do is get a Notepad run as administrator because you're going to be editing a system file to get this website to see on your pc so then what you want to do is go to file and open 
uh, not in your own documents. So go to this PC, find so it's C drive, uh, Windows, I think it's System 32. So go to System 32, if it's there, I can find it. <laughs> uh, yep, that's it. And there's a lot of stuff, there'll be a lot of stuff in here. And do drivers, ETC, and you're going to want to change this from text files to all files. So the host file is a glorified text file. So just open that up. So what you're going to want to do is add an entry. So we call this www.hevsite.co.uk. And now you can point this back to local host. We may have to play about this because I always get confused which way we're going to go. Just do Control and S. And what we can do now, bring the web browser up. I want to see if this will connect. So w dot, that's my website, by the way, kev site code UK. Cannot be reached. So we've got these, let's just see if I think we've got this the wrong way around. So what we want to do is say local host. Let's have a play about. So tap that out and save that and see if that'll do it. Can't be reached, interesting. So w.kevsite.co.uk. Okay, so let's point, let's include these, hang on. Because you need to include the local loopback. So let's just save that. And do uh, Okay, it can't be reached. Is the site running? Yes it is. Let's look at bindings. Kevsite.co.uk. So we've got the host file there. Ah, wait a minute. There's a little nick with Chrome that if you're doing this yourself, you have to turn. Let's see if we can do this. Security. So what you want to do is if you're just playing about, while you're playing about, turn off secure DNS. And let's see if that works now. Nope, still doesn't work. So let's have a look. So half the fun, so we've got that there, Axie, to that. Let's just send it to this address and do that. And let's see if that works. Okay, so it's not resolving local host. So we have to point it to the, so we've got nothing in there. So this is kind of what I would expect to see. So this is because in our, site folder on c drive we've got no files in there and that's not a problem that's kind of just like it's saying well there's nothing it's forbidden there's nothing to show and you don't ever turn that on direct listing directory listing mo model uh module uh but yeah so that is basically setting iis up with on your local PC. So remember your host file, just play around with these rules in terms of where they're pointing to, but that shows you how you can effectively play about with the site, give it any name, you can give it Facebook, whatever you want, it doesn't matter, you could change this, but it has to match. So the DNS is saying, when I enter this website address, go to here effectively. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Next, we'll delve more into linking this with PHP, etc., and things like that as well. So, uh, yeah, again, thank you so much, and I hope you found this useful.